to start uh, a very new chapter and i this this chapter was left over from the unit 2 so this is a disease of urinary system it will includes not only kidney but uh, it will also include the bladder the ureter so uh, all together we will study and uh, from this introduction class first we will try to address the different types of problem that is uh, that comes to us for uh, diagnosis as well as for the treatment now as a part of introduction we all know that renal disease is any morphological or biochemical lesion in the kidney okay so when we talk about the renal disease we think only that it is a kidney but apart from the kidney there are other organ also that helps in um, the filtration uh, there may be efferent arterioles there may be efferent arterioles so other system will also be addressed in this because the effect of the other system will also affect the kidney and the kidney as you know it's consist of uh, a different nephrons so compensatory mechanism initially if the if the kidney is losing the nephron so the animal will show a very classical sign there will be no urea but initially there is increase in, in urine output so th sometimes we confuse that the owner will say that animal is uh, urinating sir and how you can diagnose it's a case of renal failure so we will come across uh, uh, this type of problem also so consequently a diagnosis because uh, the animal will not say that i am i am suffering from polyuria and polydipsia you uh, the owner or the uh, um, pet owners or even the cattle owners they have to judge whether this animal is suffering from any type of disease related to kidney because it will show a very very classical and different sign so a diagnosis of kidney dysfunction is extremely difficult in animal you have to depend upon the different and uh, secondary um, lesions and secondary symptoms that comes for the diagnosis to you so coming to the basic anatomy why i bring this uh, graphs for all of you because when you will join here in a in a practical class uh, and i will be hand, um, giving you a hands on training on ultrasonography and especially uh, we have a lot of renal cases here so just we see the just we see the dorsal on the normal position of the animal where these organs are located so just just have a quick review because when we go for the diagnosis either by x ray or by ultrasonography the exact location of the different organ is very very important so as you know the kidney it is located in the abdominal cavity there will be a left and the right side of the kidney the left kidney is on the on the when you will take the animal on the dorsal recumbency it is on the left side and the right side or uh, right kidney is little bit cranial to the left one and it is look uh, and it is located inside the lobe of the liver so it is sometime become difficult to locate the uh, right kidney through ultrasonography but uh, 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 we have expertise we will locate that and we will try to see the different types of diseases now from there you know the ureter comes and comes in the bladder so you will find that this is the classical uh, uh, regions we can diagnose the bladder very easily and if it is a male there will be at uh, the neck of the bladder there will be prostrate and there is urethra so all this is the basic anatomy why i bring this both male and female organ because sometime you will be getting a case of pyometra you will be getting a case of fetus here so you have to take care of the different location of the now when you revert this graph when you revert this figure you will see the dorsal portion of this animal will come on the table jaise hum aise lette hain so this dorsal portion of the animal will come on the table and this portion will be on the right on the upper side so when we you will locate you will see first the here yeah, this portion and later on this portion so sometime there is a confusion that the organ that is abhi jaise aap dekh rahe hain aap idhar se aap dekh rahe hain lekin jab hum ultrasonography karenge to hamara idhar se visualization hoga aur jo organ yahan pe hoga wo niche ki or hoga so the most important organ that is uh, here the it the you see when you see you see the um, uh, female reproductive part because uh, it, it is very easy in the male but in the female you have a uh, two pouches one in on the lower side it is a bladder on the upper side it is uterus so when you revert this animal you will be first locating the urinary bladder and the uterine portion will be below that so this should be kept in mind because on the normal location on the normal position it will change when you keep the animal on the dorsal recumbency so this has to be kept in mind when we are going for ultrasonography and we are locating so the 
uh, location and the presence of organ in the dorsal and the ventral recumbency is very, very important for judging the organ in the ultrasonography as well as in X-ray. So this is the general anatomy. And uh, beside that, the uh, colon portion is also there. So that will come in the, this region because you see the colon is here. So you, you, when you will go for ultrasonography, the colon portion will be in the downside. So these are the some of the basic location we will come across when we come for the ultrasonography. And this is the cattle uh, representative. This almost the plan is similar. Your kidney here, the uterine horns is there, the bladder is there, and this is the portion of the rectum. So you see the colon portion in this region. And, and, and apart from that, as we know, the basic anatomy in the left and right kidney, there is a renal pelvis is there. So sometimes we get the problem, especially when we'll discuss about the cattle problem, the pyelonephritis is one of the greatest problem in case of cattle. So pylorus is the region from where this is, um, ureter arises from both the kidney, it comes in the bladder. So if there will be problem in the kidney, it will be either nephritis, there will be different types of nephritis in which the most important one we will discuss in the cattle is the pyelonephritis. There are certain worms also and then ureter and then the bladder. So we will just uh, 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 one by one, we will come. Cystitis is one of the biggest problem in both in large and a small animal, and then uteritis and the formation of calculi. So these are the, some of the basic uh, anatomy we have discussed. So you, know, you will be able to appreciate the different types of uh, problem the animal is facing. Now, again, coming to the basics, what are the different function the kidney is doing for the animal? Now, the most important function the uh, kidney is, is the excretion of the waste product. Whatever the waste product is uh, producing inside the body, they are going inside uh, kidney and from there, from the filtration, either some, uh, most of them are excreted out. So if the kidney is compromised, these waste products accumulate and they can form a type of metabolic toxin and they produce uh, different types of lesion. Now, the second very important portion is conservation and excretion of waters and electrolyte. As we know the function, if there is a dehydration in the body, the kidney tries to conserve the water, kidney tries to conserve the electrolytes. And if it is an excess amount, there may be diuresis is there, or there may be excretion of some of the, some of the waste product. Sir, class, no, so second is the third is very, very important is production of hormone called erythropoietin. So erythropoietin is one of the, sir, sir, hello, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, I am going to take a class, I am going to take a class. So the most important, the uh, third is the erythropoietin. As we all know that what erythropoietin do, although they are produced from the kidney, this is a hormone that helps in erythropoiesis and maintenance of RBC in the body. So the most important function of kidneys also is the maintenance on, and of uh, different types of uh, cells of the RBC. So it maintains the erythropoiesis and it maintains the anemia. So it helps if the uh, uh, kidney is compromised, the animal may suffer from uh, anemia. And we have discussed the anemia portion also. Now the third is the maintenance of the blood pressure. As we know the renin and angiotensin system. So this renin is an enzyme produced in the kidney and they uh, uh, go for the conservation of the maintenance of the blood pressure. The, the fourth very important portion is the maintenance of the blood portion. And the last one is the metabolism of vitamin D. Whatever the vitamin D, it has to be converted into active form 1,25 polycalciferol. So this conversion of vitamin D occurs in the kidney. So this again a very, very important role because once the kidney is compromised, the bone will also be compromised. So this is related to uh, some of the problems we will come across, especially in case of equines. Now again, uh, uh, continuing to the same uh, pathophysiology mechanism, this is just a graphical representation. You know the kidney produces a different type of uh, um, uh, different types of toxic substance. So if it get accumulated in the body, its kidney is compromised. It will leads to acidosis and it affect the bone. There will formation of posterior dystrophy. Again, you see the phosphorus and calcium. They are antagonistically related. You know the 1,25, and this vitamin D is very very important for the absorption of calcium. 
so once the kidney is compromised the production of active form of vitamin d is decreased and when this active form of vitamin d is decreased there will be decrease in calcium absorption and there will be hypocalcemia so you see kidney is also related with the hypocalcemia and this is the classical sign we found when the cases come here we estimate the calcium and phosphorus the phosphorus level because the phosphorus has to be excreted out from this so if this is compromised the phosphorus level increases and the calcium level decreases so in such cases we use phosphor phosphorus binder substance for the recovery of the kidney patient so we have to bind the phosphorus because this phosphorus get accumulated and the calcium decreases so you know if the calcium and there is the deposition of calcium in the kidney and sometimes we get a lot of cases of and the later classes i will show the ultrasonographical finding of how you will get the uh, different types of uh, uh, different type of uh, um, stone present both in the kidney as well as in the urinary bladder now this is erythropoietin and you know that if the erythropoietin level is decreased due to compromised kidney the anemia will be produced and if again the very very the later stage when there is excessive accumulation of uremic substances it will look to it will leads to uremic syndrome and then at a later stage of the kidney disorder the animal suffer from neurotoxicity and will show neurological sign so you see osteodystrophy is related with neurotoxicity is related with the kidney anemia is related with the kidney calcium absorption and the bone problem is related with the kidney the phosphorus is related with the kidney and vitamin d3 activation and therefore some of the patient may go for vitamin d3 supplementation so these are some of the related disorder that we found and we will discuss one by one in acute and chronic renal failure now again how you will think that this animal is suffering from any type of renal disorder so the first upon the sign the observation of the clinician once the case is brought to you either it is a large animal or it is a small animal now uh, just ajit has asked a very important pertinent question that how we will come that if the animal is not urinating from last uh, 24 hours am i right ajit सही है अभी आपने yes, है ना ठीक yes, है आप इसी ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन yes, से मैं एक बेसिक्स आइडिया देंगे हम लोग डिस्कस करेंगे कि हाउ वी विल गो फॉर डायग्नोसिस व्हाट आर द टेस्ट वेदर वी गो फॉर ओनली फॉर हिस्ट्री वेदर वी गो फॉर बायोकेमिकल एस्टिमेशन वेदर वी गो फॉर ओनली फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन वी विल गो फॉर अदर डायग्नोस्टिक टेक्नोलॉजी और वी कैन गो फॉर यूनिलाइसिस बट इफ द एनिमल इज नॉट यूरिनेटिंग सो दिस इज द वन ऑफ द साइन just uh, ajit has just discussed to me that animal is not at all urinating so this is a grave situation not at all urinating it means it may not be a problem of kidney it mean it may be a problem of some obstruction also so first you have to keep in mind how you will diagnose whether it is a case of urinary obstruction whether there is obstruction in urethra or in ureter both ureter because in case of female urethra is not very very long and therefore the this problem of obstruction is is less in comparison to male and also the formation and the lodgement of the calcula in the urinary tract is less in comparison to male so i think uh, your animal is female ओके सो ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन की जो बात मैंने किया वो थोड़ा सा रूल आउट हो रहा है अभी मैं हटके आपके सवाल पे डिस्कस कर रहे हैं आपको अगर लार्ज एनिमल होगा वो साइन बहुत डिफिकल्ट होगा अगर फिर स्मॉल एनिमल से लार्ज एनिमल में थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट होता है रिनल डिसऑर्डर को डायग्नोज करने का बट द एनिमल सोच सम साइन एंड गिव सम हिस्ट्री बिकॉज आई जस्ट आई एव डिस्कस दे मे सफर फ्रॉम पायलोनेफ्राइटिस द मोस्ट मोस्ट कॉमन renal disorder the our cattle is suffering is the pyelonephritis and this pyelonephritis most of the nephritis are unpainful now sometime the animal will so pain and how you will evidence the pain of a renal disorder the animal will so elevated tail you have to observe the urinary posture of that animal that animal after cessation of urine remain in that posture for a very very long time samajh gaye अगर वो यूरिनरी ट्रैक के पेन में है यूरिनरी ट्रैक यूरिन करते समय किसी तरह का पेन अगर इविडेंस हो रहा है गाय अपने पूछ को एलिवेटेड रखेगी इट बिल सो ए दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉस्चर दिस टाइप ऑफ पॉस्चर इज कॉल लॉडोसिस और काइफोसिस दिस इज ए काइफोसिस पोस्चर द एनिमल बिल बेंड इट्स बॉडी इट रिमेन्स इन इट्स यूरिनरी पॉस्चर आफ्टर दिजेशन ऑफ यूरिन फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम 
यूरिनेट कर भी देगी यूरिनेशन नहीं हो रहा है मेच्योरेशन नहीं हो रहा है स्टिल द एनिमल विल रिमेन इन दैट पोस्टर फॉर ए लॉन्ग टाइम सो दीज आर द सम ऑफ द ऑब्जर्वेशन यू हैव टू सी नाउ आफ्टर दैट यू गो फॉर रेक्टल एग्जामिनेशन बिकॉज इन लार्ज एनिमल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डायग्नोज सर्टन केसेज यू हैव टू गो फॉर रेक्टल एग्जामिनेशन so first you have to see whether the urinary bladder is distended or not so when you go for rectal examination as as you go for pe, pe, uh, pregnancy diagnosis you will find just at the neck at the just on the rectum that will be elevated just like a balloon like posture you will see on the because this urinary bladder is located on this region so you will feel a palpation of the distended urinary bladder it will again differentiate from other diseases like obstruction if it is a case of obstruction if the problem is here the urinary bladder will be distended so if you are getting a case of anuria you have to go for for rectal examination you have to palpate the animal uh, uh, bladder from the rectum and then you will feel whether it is you may suspect it is a case of obstruction or the urine is not forming if the bladder is not distended if the bladder is flattened and animal is not urinating from a very very long time you may suspect it may be a renal disorder so feeling of pain by the animal change in the posture of the animal frequency and the volume of the urine it may be urinary it may be a strang urea there may be difficulty in passing of the urine and the animal remain in that posture for a very very long time after the cessation of urine is some of the indication that animal is suffering from renal disorder or it is suffering from cystitis or it is suffering from urethritis so again coming to the sign if it is a case of a small animal the animal will show chronic vomition and this is the reason where you fail and we sometimes fail that this animal is suffering from gastroenteritis be it uh, five to seven days to understand that this formation or this melina now second point is melina passing of black terry colored feces now what does ajit has asked anuria not passing of urine or sometime the owner will complain that my animal is urinating frequently kuch kuch der pe pishab kar raha hai frequent uh, frequency of urination has increased and then the appearance of the urine is also very very important but it is turbid in nature but it is yellowish in nature but it is reddish in nature so it, it will again give you some clue that and again the volume of the urine although it is very very difficult in case of animal to measure the volume of the urine unlike human being where you go where you put a catheter in the uh, animal human being and you give a uh, water calculated volume of water then we can cal then be calculate the volume of urine pass in 24 hour this gives a one of the very important clue whether the filtration is offering how much uh, uh, urine is coming out but in case of animal it is almost uh, sometime become impossible because uh, it is very difficult especially in case of large animal because the animal has to remain in that posture and you have to uh, tie the bag on the animal and then you have to calculate in 24 hours how much urine output is there so the ball measurement of volume of the urine is difficult and uh, why uh, collecting the urine in a bag now next very important point the change in water now this is again a very very important point the owner sometime especially in case of uh, a small animal they complain my animal is taking lots of water sir how you say that animal is suffering from renal disorder so as we have discussed one slide before that there is a compensatory mechanism in the kidney so these kidneys are made up of nephrons if the kidney is losing that nephrons whatever the nephrons are there they started functioning more just to compensate the loss so in that process the urine output increases and sometimes the owner confuse that animal is in good condition that is also an early indication of a renal failure if the animal is polyurinating if the animal is urinating more you may suspect so polyuria and polydipsia there may be other disease also in which you will find such type of condition for example in case of palmetro in case of bitches or in case of diabetes so you have to make a differential diagnosis from other diseases also but this is one of the early indication if the animal is consuming lots of water and if it is going um, urinating lots it is an early indication of a renal disorder now the appetite is very very important here most of the cases come for appetite loss 
because there is a secondary gastric ulceration development, the GI tract disturbance is there in case of renal disorder. So appetite loss is there and the history of drug, whatever the owner is giving by own or by consulting some of the quakes. So this is very important. What I have a drug up list uh, that is nephrotoxic. So especially the most of the problem that arises is due to aminoglycosides. If most of the animals remains in a dehydrated condition and, in, and the, uh, sometime uh, the owner or the sometime, we, if we do not assess the level of dehydration and if we go for aminoglycosides, the animals suffer from renal disorder by giving that uh, good, uh, very, uh, although aminoglycoside is very, very important for E. coli infection and other type of infection, but you have to take care of the hydration status. So this is a nephrotoxic drug and some of the non steroidal anti-inflammatory nephrotoxic drugs. If it is used in a very, very long time without any protective mechanism and in a higher dose, it may lead to renal disorder. So uh, what are the drugs now I, the animal has consumed a few days ago, it also a, even a, give a clue of the renal disorder. Now then come the, your roles as a physical exemption, as we have discussed just now, if the animal is not urinating, if it is a large animal, you have to palpate the bladder from per rectal examinations. If the bladder is distended, it means uh, urine is forming, but urine due to some of the structural problem, the urine is not coming out. It may be a case of bladder, it may be a case of some of the uh, neoplasia, or in case of female animal, you have to examine the genitalia, external genitalia also, because uh, um, as per uh, our record here and as per the cases available in our veterinary clinical complex, we find that especially the female animal is more prone to renal disorder if they suffer from pyometra. So if the pyometra is not addressed for a long, long time, it will produce the ascending infection and it may lead to nephritis, different types of nephritis. So most of the female that is nulli peris in nature, especially the beaches that has not given a birth any and its age is around seven to eight years. They are prone to suffer from such type of condition because they suffer from pyometra and with the pyometra, especially the closed one, that if it is open pyometra, the possible discharge, if it is a closed pyometra, it gives a false pregnancy like symptoms and honors uh, think that my animal is pregnant also and that may lead to renal disorder. So the examination of external genitalia is also very, very important. Now in case of male, now you know, especially the seven to eight years old dog, the prostate is also now is one of the biggest problem. Sometimes the prostate enlargement is there, the animal uh, remains in a painful condition and not able to pass a uh, good amount of urine. And there is a accumulation of urine in the urinary bladder and that urine uh, put a backflow on the kidney and the kidney is compromised sometime due to hydronephrosis. So the prostate enlargement has to be addressed if the animal shows such type of symptom, you have to see the different uh, by ultrasonography or by x-ray. Now coming to the most important one is the serum biochemistry. As we have seen that uh, the two very, very important tests, the blood urea nitrogen and the creatinine is very, very important. So always you have to go for serum biochemistry, the blood urea nitrogen estimation, but blood urea non nitrogen estimation is not very, very specific because it increases and decreases by other factors, even it is related with dehydration also. So when you go for fluid therapy, the blood urea nitrogen decreases, but the creatinine level is not, uh, is not well uh, decreased when you go for fluid therapy. So creatinine is more specific biomarker for the renal disorder in comparison to blood urea nitrogen. Besides that, we have to depend on the x-ray. X-ray will give some of the clue whether the kidney size is increased or decreased. If the, if the animal is suffering from acute renal failure, the kidney size is increased. If the animal is suffering from chronic renal failure, the kidney size decreases from the normal level. Then ultrasonography is one of the classical, uh, it gives a lots of classical sign and I will show you all the photographs of the renal disorder what I have taken from last four to five years. I've accumulated and I'm give you a clue that how you will diagnose a, a renal disorder with the help of ultrasonography. And two days ago only, a coins of uh, government of Bihar has come here with a history of severe hematuria. It was passing lots of uh, red color urine uh, from last three to four days. So we have gone for a cystoscopy. We have gone for ultrasonography. We have diagnosed a carcinoma like growth in the urinary bladder. Then after that, we go for endoscopy, cystoscopy. We visualize this from just from the, uh, from the 
inside the urinary bladder there was a growth so cystoscopy at last uh, gives a very important it's a definitive diagnosis for if there is any growth like lesion in the urinary bladder now the last one is urine lysis i think dr sonam but ma'am has already taught you the different urine lysis method in which uh, everything is uh, um, you call uh, you collect the urine uh, and then you go for different type of test for the glucose the ph the sediments the rbc the wbc the cast and this will i will come in the next slide so this is a urine lysis so this is a very very ready made kits are available it gives only the qualitative or sometimes some data are also written here so the deep stick test how many of you have seen this deep stick test kisne dekha hai yes yes sir yes sir kahan dekhe ho biochemistry lab biochemistry lab okay biochemistry lab so this is a very very urine lysis and this is the deep stick okay we have deep stick dekh rahe hain aap so in deep stick test thus there is a strip is there okay one strip is there so you can get a strip you collect the urine and then put this deep stick inside that and then you compare the different color coding is for different types of sediments the glucose the ph the urine specific gravity and then you compare it okay so it will give a very important clue that if some uh, sediments is coming crystals are forming or wbc is coming or epithelial cells are coming what are the what is the ph of the urine and then the most important one is the presence of glucose and the protein so glucosuria and proteinuria and the presence of cast are a clear cut indication of a renal disorder and different types of nephritis so urine lysis is also a very important aid in the diagnosis of renal disorder but the most important thing in urine lysis is the collection of urine so what are the different method of collection of urine how you will uh, collect your urine from the animal anyone urine kaise collect karenge acha sa ek uh, कल्चर के लिए भी अगर हमको यूरिन लेना है कल्चर सेंसिटिविटी सीएसटी करना है यूरिन का कैसे लेंगे सिस्टोसेंटेसिस करेंगे सर या तो सिस्टोसेंटेसिस और कोई मेथड है इन्होंने बताया सिस्टोसेंटेसिस एनी अदर मेथड सर नेचुरली जिस समय वो स्टार्ट करेगी उस समय कोई या या उसमें जो कलेक्ट कर लेंगे हां ठीक है अगर उससे भी कलेक्ट होगा और कोई मेथड ओके कैथराइजेशन करेंगे सर कैथराइजेशन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अभी आप लोगों ने तीन मेथड बता दिया देयर आर फोर मेथड ऑफ यूरिन कलेक्शन एंड देयर आर एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ ईच मेथड द फर्स्ट द नेचुरल मेथड इज दैट यू वेट एंड यू सी द एनिमल इज यूरिनेटिंग देन यू कलेक्ट सो देयर इज अ चांस ऑफ कंटामिनेशन इन दैट ओके ना बिकॉज़ वो आप कंटामिनेट हो सकता है वहां से सो बट इफ यू टेक अ मिड टर्म यूरिन uh you can it's one of the uh, method for collection of urine now second is the abdominal palpation method you just forcefully palpate on the bladder and sometime animal urinate this is the second method but there are disadvantage that that there may be chance of hematuria there may be chance of some injury in the bladder now two very important method one of you told that uh, catheterization so catheterization is one of the method of urine collection in case of animal but you have to be skilled in collecting uh, urine from the urinary bladder with the help of catheterization pehle to ek skill hona chahiye this skill is uh, very very important in case of female animal because sometime you will find difficulty in passing of the catheter in case of female it is easy in male but not in female now the uh, but there are uh, again a chance of uh, Uh, contamination because when you go for catheterization you can push some of the infection inside the bladder so this is also not very very suitable for culture sensitivity test the best method someone has told me is cystosynthesis but again there is again uh, a disadvantage of this the owner will not allow you for just for collection of you you are going to rupture the bladder so these are some of the advantages and disadvantages but you have to take care that uh, what method you are going to adapt for the collection of the urine so this is the deep stick test for the urine lysis i think all of you are knowing this and this is a very easy test and this can be done so in case of serum chemistry for the diagnosis you might have gone the blood urea nitrogen one of them 
then creatinine is very very important the calcium is very important the phosphorus the bicarbonate and the electrolytes because they have a correlation as we have discussed that phosphorus level increases then by acidosis and alkalosis is one of the method then serum electrolyte sodium and potassium is very very important and creatinine as we know the creatinine is very important and the blood urea and nitrogen although we go for blood urea, but is not very specific in case of serum biochemistry and the ratio is also very very important the creatinine ratio uh, when you just you go for a mux manual you will find there is a different ratio for the creatinine ratio is very important uh, when it is coming for diagnosis of renal disorder now uh, i think uh, we have only two minute time so i'm not start this acute renal failure so if uh, in this uh, uh, if you have some uh, 